Now, uh, did you see the news yesterday? It seems that Charles isn't a huge fan of the press. I can't bear I wonder who he's talking about. Mm. Mm. More of that in just a second with the royal photographer Arthur Edwards, who is at the press call, and our very own James Whittaker. Welcome back to Wish You Were Here Today. Now, since you've been gone, I've been working my way very slowly around this golf course. Now, holiday destinations are a bit like fashion, really. One year something's in, the next year it's out. And apparently, the latest in destination is Antarctica. proves that Find a Fortune is a program well worth watching. Tell us more, Tris. The man I'm looking for, Carol, is called David Latham. David, um, Standard Life have been trying to track you down. We've been trying to track you down. We found you. I have a check here for you from Standard Life, OK? I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, too. Before I can give you this check, I just need to check a few things, OK? Your middle name and your place of birth. John Osborne is my middle name. Yes. Your place of birth? Ilfracombe. Perfect, exactly right. You paid £4.52 a week into this policy, which you started in 1974. Mm -hmm. The cheque I've got for you tonight is worth £21,798.52. <laughs> so is it money well spent? Well, one look at the new car and the answer has to be yes. Gone is the boxy old shape. Instead, you've got a much sleeker and curvaceous car. And it says in the press jargon, which comes with the car, it's got taut, powerful bulges and the muscular body of a trained athlete. Now, I wonder who they modelled that on. If you can't stand the heat, don't buy the kitchen. But if winter sun is your idea of heaven, then this is definitely the place to be. We've come to check out the property market in Sweden's second largest city, Gothenburg. And believe me, there's lots on offer. And then outside, to my favourite room, the toilet. Only because this one's quite funny, and uh, you'll understand why when I show you this. Ever seen one of those before? Basically, it's a bucket with a plastic bag in it. But whilst us Brits do all we can to find the sun, the Moroccans do all they can to avoid it. And if you don't mind, I'm going to follow their example. See you later. Boys, drop them. Chilly, isn't it? Oh, that was easy. Way to go. Now, in there, we have slime, which we commonly call eel slime, yeah. and fly pupae. Oh, look at that, though. Another meal. Well done. All of a sudden, it was my turn. Only three other people have fed aggro. Prince Harry, Justin Timberlake, Cameron Diaz... He's on it. Now, and now me. Oh. Now, you find a number of feathers in there and, and probably some green ants. Whoa! That's one. Enjoy it. <laughs> yes! If it bites you, you've got a good 20 minutes before you're dead. You know? 20 minutes? Yeah. Is that all? Oh, unless I get yeah. a pressure bandage on. How are you going with that? It's all right. Yeah. It's all right, Steve. You this know, snake is completely harmless. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that has to be the worst experience in my life.